you, you, you buy a pipe for two reasons. You buy it for the enjoyment of smoking a quality pipe tobacco and you buy it for the, the inherent beauty that is in a pipe. We like to think at Peterson that we only use the best briar like and that, uh, you know, quality, quality is a big, big part of the Peterson company and it has been since the, uh, the company was formed. The company started in the middle of the 19th century. It was originally started by two brothers from Nuremberg in Germany, the Kapp brothers, and they set up a business making pipes in a shop in Grafton Street, one of our premier streets. They were joined some years later by Charles Peterson, a Latvian, and Charles Peterson, a stonemason, uh, literally saw the two Kapp brothers sitting in a window in a shop making pipes, and he went in, introduced himself, and they formed a partnership, Cap Brothers and Peterson. Charles Peterson saw a gap in the market from a technological point of view that the, the pipe smoker up to that point was not getting a dry smoke and a dry smoke means a cool smoke. So he invented a system which really meant drilling the chamber of the pipe, the bowl, twice and that allowed the tobacco to come up coolly up to the stem and the mouthpiece um, and he accentuated that by inventing the Peterson lip. The, the hole was in the centre of the lip and the smoke went up to the roof of your mouth instead of, instead of down your throat. And this again helped the smoker get a cooler smoke and that made it a more enjoyable smoke and that system pipe when it was invented towards the end of the 19th century is still almost the bedrock of this company 140 years later. That was put Peterson pipe on, on the on the map as such, the Peterson system. When visitors come to the factory to see it, they think they can't believe there's so much involved in making it, you know. They, they can't believe there's so many operations, you know. I learned my trade from my predecessor. Every bowl we hope to be able to make some sort of a pipe out of and we go through each each one of those. It'd be my job to select the bowls. As we're selecting, like we put a pencil mark on wherever we see a flaw. After that then send it out into the production area, then the first stage would be bowl turning and assembly. That's where they they, they actually assemble the pipe, like the, the mouthpiece and the bowl are married together there. It goes on then to sandpapering. Yes, yeah, so you have to sandpaper the bowl. Regarding the paper, you know, you have to be very careful. It's not just a, it's, you have to make sure that the bowl the key, keeps the shape also. So. Every pipe goes through the staining area because we have, like every pipe will get some sort of a colour on it. And we, we actually um, set the pipe on fire, we, we, we brush the stain on, put it over the flame and the stain, the stain burns into the wood like, and it'll never come off then. When we stain the pipe then, like, um, there's excess stain goes on it, so it goes over to what we call the buffing area. And they'll buff, they'll mop all the, the excess stain off and the grain will start to show, it'll come through then, come through the bowl. So that's the start of the finish, that's the semi-finishing stage of the pipe then. We employ a silversmith here and he puts lovely, lovely silver accessories on the pipes. It's probably one of the most skilled jobs in our, in our little factory. It's, uh... To, to see the silver being spun and to see him mounting it on, on a pipe, it really is, a, it, it is supremely skilled. The hallmarking is a tradition in, in, in Irish silver making. Um, we, ha we have hallmarked all our silver pipes for generations. And the three symbols represent, the first symbol represents the crowned harp, which is a symbol of Ireland itself. The second symbol is a letter, which denotes the year of manufacture. And the third symbol it denotes the fineness of the silver, the, the, the purity of the silver, in other words. So every piece of silver and any, and any pipe that we make always has those hallmarks, which really is, is an authenticity of the actual purity and the quality of the silver used. Then we're ready to go into the finishing area. And the finishing is a highly skilled area too. Like, you know, there's several different finishes and it takes a long time to learn all those different finishes and all the different elements of the finishing. A, 
it, it just really means a number of us putting our heads together and uh, looking at various shapes and maybe variations of shapes and uh, or, or else just coming up with something completely different um, and we would uh, do some sketches or drawings of what we would need and then we would get samples we would modify them or change them or whatever and uh, it goes backwards and forwards for some weeks before we're, we settle down and agree on the new shape for the next series. The River Collection is something that we've introduced this year as well. It's um, a series of six new shapes. Each pipe is called after a river in Ireland and uh, they come as a collection of six. The Liffey, the Boyan, the Lee, the Yarn, the Corrup and the Shearer, they're the six names. Each pipe carries a silver band, and the silver band again is engraved with a Celtic wave, which we think is quite appropriate given that it's called a river collection. It is, it is very enjoyable to see something that you start off with pretty, pretty on the back of an envelope type of approach to, 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 to seeing it in its, in its final form when the, when the pipes are launched. It's the ultimate satisfaction from a manufacturer's point of view. The good tobacco is very, very important. We, we've been very careful about how we, how we selected our, our blends for Peterson Tobacco. We, we believe that they are a very, very premium quality product. Um, we have tested each and every one of them before launching them on the market to make sure that they were worthy enough to carry the Peterson name and to complement our pipe range. It is a handcrafted product and that is both the heritage of it that's the essence of it and that's what distinguishes it from other products that are around in this day and age. The major thing is that pipe smoking is more a pleasure in terms of it needs it needs time, it needs to, it's not something you can rush or you can, uh, it's something for relaxing. It's, there's no instant fix or with, with a pipe you need to take your time to enjoy it. I suppose it allows for more uh, a restful way of enjoying tobacco. It's lovely to see some of the pipe, we uh, call a professional pipe smoker, we want for the want of a better word. See him getting the, getting the tobacco ready, filling the pipe. You know, it takes a while to do it, and he enjoys it even more than lighting up a quick smoker, you know, that's the way I see it anyway. Peterson pipes require no special breaking in treatment before smoking. For the first few smokes, only half fill your pipe with tobacco. Fill the pipe firmly, though not too tightly, using your finger. Next, light the tobacco using a match or a pipe lighter until you get a good glow from the tobacco in the bowl. Next, use a tamper, a device designed to press down on burning tobacco and gently tamp down the tobacco. Then, light it again. This will ensure that the tobacco burns evenly and continually. By gradually increasing the amount of tobacco, you will ensure an even buildup of a protective carbon lining in the bowl. Do not allow this to become excessive, as too much carbon can crack the bowl. The ideal thickness is 1.5 millimeters. Pipe smoking is a gentle art, designed to give you smoking pleasure. When you draw on your pipe, do so slowly, gently and enjoy the experience. Avoid smoking your new pipe in windy or outdoor conditions until the carbon has built to a level which will protect the bowl. The increased draft may cause the tobacco to flame and lead to a burning of the bowl. When cleaning the bowl of tobacco, always use a rounded edged pipe tool. Never use a pointed penknife or other sharp objects as this could penetrate the bottom of the bowl. The same applies to removing excess carbon cake from the bowl. Always use a pipe scraper and be careful not to penetrate the bottom of the bowl. Finally, you should always tap out your pipe in your hand or use a pipe tool. Knocking a pipe against a hard surface may cause damage and should be avoided. To clean the mouthpiece of your Peterson pipe, you can simply use a conical pipe cleaner. To do this, run the thin end of the conical pipe cleaner through the lip of the pipe
then pull it through at the other end. To clean a Peterson system pipe, first fold a conical pipe cleaner. Then insert it into the well of the system pipe and twist it. This will remove the remaining moisture or residue. It's recommended that you keep three to four pipes in use alternately. Rotating your pipes will ensure that they are given time to dry and therefore ensure optimal smoking pleasure. Petersons of Dublin offer a wide selection of tobaccos. Whether you like aromatics, Virginians or flake tobaccos, there's something to suit all tastes in Peterson tobacco range. If you've never smoked a pipe before, you should consult with your tobacconists on a suitable tobacco to begin with. Thank you for smoking a Peterson pipe. We wish you many years of smoking pleasure.